New Zealand has agreed to a plan to try wooing the Taliban with money. A one-day conference in London has pledged almost $150 million to win over fighters currently opposed to the government of Hamid Karzai. There's word of secret UN peace talks as well, but the word being most used is bribe. Europe correspondent Kim Chisnell was there. Nine long, hard years of conflict in Afghanistan have shown military might isn't winning. So representatives from 60 nations came to London to agree on trying a different political currency. We must reach out to all of our countrymen, especially our disenchanted brothers. But what the foreign ministers see as offering the hand of reintegration and forgiveness is likely to be seen by many as a hand simply holding a bribe. I don't accept that the reintegration fund has been established simply to, in your words, rent back uh, those insurgents who are currently being paid uh, 10, 20, 30 dollars a day to fight for the uh, insurgency. And while it's being put in place, the troops are staying put. In actual fact, troop numbers will increase by 37,000 over the next few months. Germany, Romania, the United States and Britain have all pledged more troops, but New Zealand says it's not increasing its commitment to the troubled nation. So no more soldiers, but Foreign Minister Murray McCulley says New Zealand would consider contributing to the international fund if Afghanistan sticks to its promise to crack down on corruption.